love today. And then my in-laws are on their way too, so God show them some love as well. God bless you. If you would turn with me to the book of Mark, the fifth chapter. The book of Mark, the fifth chapter. And we are going to start at... The 37th verse. And the word of the Lord reads, And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing that was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said it unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I am so excited about this word. And I ask the Lord to allow the Holy Spirit to keep me contained because I must teach this. I don't want to scream, I don't want to yell, but I want you to feel it, Brother Lords. I want you to begin to think in your mind right now the definition of the word plague. The word plague means a contagious bacterial disease characterized by fever or delirium. Remember that. The word plague is a contagious bacterial disease. And when you have this bacterial disease, sometimes you may have a fever or you may be delirious. So I don't think I would be very far off if I would say that this woman was delirious. When we look at this uh, familiar scripture, Bishop, we see that it's written in three out of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Now Matthew looks at it in three scriptures. Luke looks at it in six scriptures. But this brother Mark, he looks at it in 10 scriptures. And I said, well, God, why did he look at it in 10 scriptures? Because he says that the blood was not the rest of the story. So can I tell you the rest of the story about this woman who had an issue of blood? Now, you remember that I said that plague is a contagious disease. Now, that is the now, the state of it. But the action word for the word plague means to be troubled, to be distressed, to be uh, 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 pestered. To be tormented. So if you have a plague in your life, I don't know if you do, but if something is tormenting you, if it's troubling you, if it's worrying you, then you have a plague. It's not just about that current issue. So if you would go with me in your spiritual imagination and remember there was a crowd of people around and the woman had to press towards Jesus. She didn't care what anybody was thinking about her because she was delirious. She didn't think about anything the way they were looking at her, about the way she smelled. She had trouble on her mind. She was worried. She had been pestered long enough. She had been tormented long enough. And she was saying, I'm going to get my help right now. So Jesus turns around after he felt virtue go from his body, the Bible tells us. He turns around after the woman received what God told me was a turnaround touch. She touched him and then she turned around and got to stepping. She had her turnaround touch at the end of the name of Jesus. Now, The movie Taken, the man says, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If there's money that you want, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have is a set of particular skills. Skills that I've acquired over a very long lifetime. I was going to put that in today's term. I would say that Jesus is saying to you, I know who you are. I know what you want. What you are looking for, I have. What do I have? I have a set of particular skills. Power is what I have. Skills that I've had. you need. I got the help that you need. Yes, yes. And the woman, fearing and trembling, she went and she laid down on her, at his feet, Bishop, and she told all. What does the word all mean? She told everything that was going on in her life. She didn't just say, I'm bleeding. She said, I can't pay my bills. My son is in trouble. My daughter is in trouble. I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't have to lose my child. 
Yeah. <laughs>